Radio. Yeah, yeah, you're rocking with the hottest radio station, Mac Type Radio. Ready to learn, show yours truly, Mac Joker, and it's going down. We got a special guest in the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know who you are and what do you do. Hey, hey, hey everyone. My name is Yanira. I'm from California. I'm 27 years old, and I help people get gigs um, at events to open up and um, out in LA or Pomona. And um, I've worked with many celebrities, like about 30 celebrities, like Trey Songs, um, Eric Bellner, um, Chris Brown, um, A.B. Compton, or Compton A.B., sorry. And um, people like that, and that's, that's about me. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, welcome to the Red to Learn show. And again, uh, we're talking entrepreneurship and had to have you on the guest because you're doing your thing uh, out there on the West Coast. And I uh, wanted to know, first and foremost, uh, what, why did you choose uh, to, to, to become an entrepreneur? Uh, what struck you about uh, becoming an entrepreneur? So I've had like jobs, regular jobs, but I hated I hated being told what to do and then not being able to be free. And um, I do have health issues. I like have seizures. So every job that I had, like I got, I got let go because of my seizures. Right. And so I was like, epic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be self-employed. And I, I found out about this. Um, when it started off with YG, he okay. he was opening up a brand, a clothing brand, and some of his crew members they hit me up, and that's how I started off. And okay. Yeah, I started off with like modeling, modeling for his brand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know, starting off, uh, were you nervous or you know, did you have any uh, doubts? Uh, about you know uh you know this is something new and you know this is something a, a whole new field and, and something brand new so were there any doubts or any fears or i was definitely nervous when okay. i first started okay um, i didn't think i could do it and like when when you're self-employed when you're an entrepreneur um it starts off slow, you know, right, even the right. income starts off slow. So I did have second, uh, I have doubts and I was like, this isn't for me. I'm gonna, I just need to do something regular and normal. right. But, right. um, and then, like I said, when I, when I started, it was with clothing brands, modeling, advertising, things like that. Right. Back then I started, <laughs> I started when I was back in like 2018. Or something and i was like oh my gosh i'm like why are people they were reaching out to me because i had a high following and i was so ugly back then <laughs> i think i think i was like no right. i can't do this this is not for right me. right no no <laughs> doubt no doubt so you just being uh you know an event host um it it has you traveling so i'm assuming uh with the pandemic it, it did impact uh, your your business. Uh, I'm assuming, correct? Yes, for my for my uh, lash business, um, I have my own brand. I sell mascaras, eyelashes, eyelash curlers, tools, okay. support base, things like that. Um, that one actually helped a lot for my for my small business, uh, for my brand. That helped a lot because it was through online and people were. Pe everything was closed, so people were shopping online all the time. Right. And, and um, now it has slowed down. And um, with the events, that that was completely shut. Like that that was out. You know, I was the, uh, the only thing I had to do was my uh, my lash brand. But <laughs> the events was done. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Was closed. Right. 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 Well, again, uh, you know, as things start to reopen and, uh, you know, I guess, quote unquote, get back to normal. Um, 
has have 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 the uh I guess gigs or jobs been starting to pick back up a little bit more or um mm-hmm. is, is it still you know, in the standstill? No, no, we're open now. Um, okay. We started off with a limit, like like a certain limit. And um, I work at many, many different clubs and events. I um, think I probably work like at, oh my gosh, like 30 different clubs. Right. So I do travel a lot. Um, so so, so y- y'all are back outside, in other words. We're, yeah. we're open, yeah. No doubt. Like, everything's popping right now. Right now, I, I I help upcoming artists for them to open up. Like I don't do anything with the major ones. So right now, I have someone coming, flying out from New York um, in January. Okay. Okay. Well, I wanted to ask you. Um, you know, being an entrepreneur, um, can you speak to Clubhouse? Uh, has that been able to assist you in, um, you know, trying to meet the connections? Uh, how has Clubhouse played a role uh, in, into what, what what you're trying to do? I love Clubhouse. I love it. It's, it, it's no, no um, BS. I don't know if I cuss on here, but right. everyone is hardworking and dedicated right. and motivated everyone is real and everyone wants to make it on that app i've made exactly. so many connections well what i was going to say is um uh, pretty much a majority of uh, the last couple of weeks the guests that i've had on the show have spoken very highly of Clubhouse, how, the, how, how they've been able to connect the dots in networking, you know, in, in things of that nature. And I just wanted to, um, you know, get, get your input on it um, as we discuss entrepreneurship and uh, you being an entrepreneur uh, in this uh, entertainment industry. I wanted to see, if, you know, your perspective uh, how did you feel? Where have you been able to, you know, uh, connect some of the, the, the dots, you know, into what you're trying to do? Um, yes, I have. No, I have. No doubt. No doubt. Um, now, I guess when it comes to, um, I guess, social media in a whole, is that something um, that that plays a role um, into your field, your line of work? Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted you to speak a little bit more about how social media, um, you know, it, it has helped you or plays a role in, in your business. Mm-hmm. Social media helps me so much with everything. It it's where I advertise, where I where I get connections, where people reach out to me. I reach out to them. Social right. media now is so powerful. It's it's no joke. Every, if if you you want to go viral or something that, that, right. that's how people get famous through social media and that that's how people where a lot they connect and they sometimes they don't even have a job and then that that's how they get their income through social media right um, i get paid through instagram sometimes um through clubhouse through tips social media is everything right now it's my biggest platform no doubt no doubt and uh yeah, I, and I think you're speaking of uh, some of the content uh, creators because now it's to the point these platforms are are paying, you know, these content creators. So if you got good content, um, you're you're able to cash in, um, you know, not nowadays. So I, I definitely think it, it's a it's a good season for entrepreneurs, uh, so to speak. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts on um, how do you feel in the whole about just the entertainment today. Um, you know, uh, unfortunately, we did uh, have the uh, sad news uh, uh, of uh, young Dolph uh, being killed. 
and uh, R.I.P. Young Dog. But I did just want to very briefly um, just get your feel on uh, the the entertainment today, uh, where where it is. Um, you being you know an event host, so you're able to tap in and see some of these events. So I just would like just like your perspective, if, if you didn't mind sharing with us. Uh, yeah, so nowadays, I do feel because um, social media is very powerful right. and I feel like you don't have to do the hard work anymore. So I am kind of like, like, I feel like it's easier now, but you should, right. it, it's not like back then. And I, I honestly think it's different and it's easy which isn't good i would like to work with people that put in the heart the hard work and have um, actual experience instead of people just through social media getting easy access i don't right think, yeah right that's my perspective of it it's yeah it's well, different. and then i also think one last thing sorry go I, ahead go ahead i do think um the music is very violent and um sometimes for the younger crowd right they listen to that and it it messes with them with their head you know so no, no doubt no doubt i i can uh, see where you're coming from you know from that perspective um what i wanted to uh ask you as well um, you know, with it being easy access, is that is that a good or, or a bad thing, to, in your opinion? No, I think it's bad. It's I, bad. I no, think it's a bad thing. No doubt, no doubt. Well, you know, like I said, it's 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 what they're doing with it. You know, it's it's out there, and you know, if you if you do the wrong things with it, then then you definitely it definitely can be. It definitely can be bad. It definitely can be bad. <laughs> well, um, what's in the future for you? Um, let's say um, in, in the next um, five, ten years, um, do, do you have anything uh, long term that you're trying to knock off that you would like to achieve? Or long term, yeah, I want to be a millionaire. <laughs> That's my goal right now. No doubt. Yeah, um, millionaire by thirty. <laughs> No doubt. So, um, focus on that. I want to invest in properties and real estate, things like that. Um, I'm trying to make passive income right now. Right, right, right. Well, you know, it, it's definitely, definitely uh, obtainable. You know, you you speaking in this assist, uh, existence. Um, like I said, if um, that's what you're striving for, that's what you you, you got the right attitude. You got the right attitude. Well, again, uh, it, it's been a pleasure, you know, having you on the Ready to Learn uh, show. Um, we were tapping in on entrepreneurship and, uh, you know, wanted to get your perspective and, and your thoughts on some of these, uh, you know, topics um, as an entrepreneur. And uh, it's been a pleasure having you. But before you get out of here, uh, please let the people know uh, how they can get, you know, in touch with you if they want to tap in with you um so you guys can find me at la prieta l-a-p-r-i-e-t-a underscore 94 on instagram and on clubhouse you can also find me the same name la prieta underscore 94 so that that's how you can reach out to me you guys and i really appreciate you for having here this was this was so much fun and exciting i was so excited to be here thank you so much for having me uh, no doubt, it's been a pleasure, and uh, you know, again, you're welcome back anytime. Again, you're rocking with the Ready to Learn show, Matt Type Radio. Yours truly, Matt Joker. We out of here. Matt Type yeah. Radio, snitch.